Today in Making Drink, we're gonna make and drink a cocktail from Tiki, Modern Tropical Cocktails from Shannon Mustafer. Book came out in 2019, and if you're into cocktail books, you may already have this one, or at the very least, you've noticed this online. The photography is stunning, and it's a very unique take on Tiki. Mustafer approaches these drinks from a modern perspective, which seems obvious and maybe even a no-brainer, but my expectations of this book were way off. I don't think I had really considered what a different or modern take on Tiki would look like. The first time I flipped through it, my brain hurt. There are so many unusual and different ingredients, several of which I had not heard of. But that makes total sense. What's the point of a modern cocktail Tiki book if it just replaces one or two ingredients in classic Tiki drinks? If you want to really expand what you're drinking and try something entirely new, yet familiar, then this is the book for you. Today we'll make the Isla de Pina, which is Mustafer's riff on a daiquiri. For this recipe, you will need an aged white rum, a pineapple liqueur, allspice dram, also called pimento dram, passion fruit puree, and fresh lime juice. For my passion fruit puree, I'm using this. I found it in the frozen section at Whole Foods, and it makes wonderful passion fruit simple syrup as well. Also, just a quick tip if you're searching for bar ingredients out there, use Instacart. Not necessarily to buy or have delivered, but I found they have a pretty accurate and updated inventory of most stores in my area. So I can go in and search for something like Coco Lopez or Passion Fruit and see who, if anyone, carries those products. We're gonna blend this one and you can use a drink master, a blender, or in this case, I'm gonna try out an immersion blender. And I'm gonna start by building this in my large shaker tin. With half an ounce of fresh lime juice, half an ounce of passion fruit puree, which is already thawed, a quarter ounce of an allspice or a pimento dram, half an ounce of pineapple liqueur, and two ounces of an aged white rum. I'm using Diplomatico Planus, which is what Shannon recommends in the book. Add about half a scoop of ice to your tin and we're gonna blend this for five to 10 seconds. Next, you're gonna straighten this into your coop. And I'm gonna garnish it just like the book with some pineapple fronds. And there you go, the Isla de Pina by Shannon Mustafer. Let's give it a taste. While that is crisp, it's light, it's refreshing. You really can taste your rum here. What is interesting about this, it's not as sharp as like your typical daiquiri, but bringing that passion fruit adds just another layer to this one. And it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. This is a drink that if I was served out and about, I would be very happy with it. It's also not very sweet. We're getting all the sweetness here from our pineapple liqueur. And it is uh, a, just a, like a different take on a daiquiri. And having that allspice dram adds sort of those like warm spices you get, that allspice flavor. And also having that passion fruit really up front, whereas in a lot of tiki drinks, it's in a syrup, it's in a drink with, uh, you know, 10 other ingredients. Like having it here, you really taste the rum and the passion fruit and that allspice ram, but it doesn't drown out your rum. So I don't know, it's just like a, a wonderfully refreshing drink. And this is the first time I think I've ever used an immersion blender for a cocktail. Uh, it does mention in the book, you, you can use one, but when you use a drink master, uh, and I mentioned this to someone recently, drink masters are not very efficient blenders. Uh, that's why they're actually great because they'll sort of crush your ice, but they still leave some chunks of ice. Whereas an immersion blender, or a regular stand blender, it's gonna pulverize your ice. You're gonna really get a lot of uh, torque in there when you're blending it up. And that helps make this foam. Whereas a drink master, or if you're shaking, you're not gonna get a lot of foam from your passion fruit puree and your pineapple liqueur. Um, so you really need something in there that helps add that foam. And that's what the immersion blender's for. It's really just a wonderful rum drink. And if you're interested in the book, I'll put a link for it below. I think if you want to sort of step outside your comfort zone, it's a great tiki book to look into. That's it for this one. I'm Derek. This is Make and Drink. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support the channel, 
then give this video a like below. It helps out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And if you're interested in checking out more tiki or rum drinks, here's two videos right here that I think you will like. See you on the next one.